Well, you've probably seen some of my reviews on the Coleman travel trailers and how I feel about them. Does that carry over to the camp stove? Let's find out. Welcome to Two Camping Gurus. If you like camping in the great outdoors, you are in the right place. Stick around to the end of this video so we can show you how you can get your free ebook and pre-trip checklist to make sure you and your rig are ready for the road. Now, let's get into today's content. This here is a much newer model, which is still available. Anybody can buy a new product and do a review on it, the unboxing and all that, but it's not always a true review, even my own. You know, like if I buy something new and do a review on it right away, how do you really know how it's gonna stand up over the test of time when you just review it brand new out of the box? That's really more of a, a first impression review, in all honesty. The true review is when you have one for many years and how it's held up over the test of time. So we'll talk about some of the features of this new one, but then I'm gonna show you an older model that we've had for a while and tell you what I think about it. So let me just spin this around so you can see some of the features. Normally I would stay on this side. This is my, you know, I'd be set up here at the camp and we would uh, cook. I will say this got some significant improvements over my stove. This is actually my brother's camp stove. He let me borrow it. It locks in really good here. This is plastic, but it locks in really good. Then he's got these doors that come up and these little panels and you lock them in place right like that. And you do the same on this side here. And now you have a fairly sturdy backsplash, side splash, as well as a wind block. Uh, so this, you can see this one's been used many times and, and it's, a, it's a great stove. I have nothing, I personally have not used this stove, so I'm not gonna talk a lot about it. No issues whatsoever. It's a one big platform for cooking on. Typically, like I would usually put foil down the bottom of it to help collect some of that grease. But essentially that's it right there. And then of course you hook your propane. So in this particular version, the propane uh, attachment goes over here and then your grill, I mean your tank goes on here like that. I'm not gonna hook this one up and then your adjustments are here for the whole burner. There's no adjustments on the Coleman stove itself. Again, I can't talk a lot about this one because it's not mine, but this one is still available. So I'll put a link to it or at least the predecessor to it as close as this one as I can in the description below. So if you're interested in it, yeah, you can check it out. But let's really get to the real review and the one that I've had for years. All right, and if you haven't noticed already, I am using my handy dandy folding uh, camp table. And I did do a review on this a week or two ago. So if you're interested, check that out. I'll put a link for it down in the description. But the real stove I want to review today is this Coleman stove. And I've had this thing for probably about, I'd say close to 20 years, maybe 15. And um, right off the bat, it's been a good stove. We can't complain. We still use it. Now it's pretty beat up. It's scratched up. It's been grilled on a lot, but overall it's been a great stove. So it's got a different type of locking mechanism here. And as far as the wind guard, it's the fold out kind like this. And they got these little gads go in the side here like that. And you just swing this one over and hook it in there. It's again, this one here has been used a lot. You can see, you know, I mean, it's been, um, you know, you can see it's got burn marks here. It's been used, so if this is a true review. Uh, in fact, I'll show you some of the issues with it. This one did come with, and I don't have it right here with me, it comes with a flat plate as well, so you can do pancakes and stuff like that. Got the drip tray, uh, which the other one had too. Now the drip tray slides into, it had little grooves underneath that this slid into. Those have broken off, they're plastic. I still slide it underneath there, but it doesn't lock in or anything. I just slide it in place underneath the hole uh, where the grease would drip out. One of the feet broke off and I gotta fix it. I haven't done it yet. It's hooks down here in the middle. So that's gotta be, it's gotta be fixed. Thing is 15 years old. I keep, I keep it. I keep throwing it in here when I'm done and I take it back out. And one of these days, I'm gonna take the time to fix the leg or just buy a new leg for it. Now, the big difference between this one and the one I just showed you a minute ago is we have a cook surface here as well as a burner over here. So because of that, your control is no longer on this because you have more than one thing. You have two separate controls here to uh, operate this particular Coleman stove. So as far as hooking this up, it's very similar to the other one. Just right in the side here, I'll turn this, hopefully you can see it. So right there, this just slides over that and then through that on finger tight. I'm Make it good and snug and that goes like that and then to hook your propane tank on you would just take that and just slides on like that and then i just let that usually hang and sit right there on this whether it's this way or the other way it sits on those it sits on those side tables uh, and that's all there is to it and this thing is now ready to go so like i said if you've seen my review on the Coleman travel trailers. Um, I was not impressed with them at all. The quality of a lot of the things inside of them are pretty poor, but they do make a pretty good camp stove. I can't complain. I know there's better ones out there, higher end ones out there, 
but I have had this thing, like I said, 15 years at least. And it bounced around the compartment of the campers over the different campers we've had over the years. Bounced around the back of the car and the trunk of the car. And every time we pull it out and hook it up, it works flawlessly. Uh, it's relatively easy to clean. I always put foil in the bottom here. That's why this still looks pretty good down there. So when I do, I poke the hole that down through with the grease drain so that can still drain. And then we just take the foil and throw it away after, and you're good to go. Um, but this stove, as you can see, has been through the paces. It's been tried and tested, beat up, cooked on. And we've cooked everything from pancakes, eggs, steak, corn on the cob, you name it. We've cooked tons of stuff on this thing over the years and it works great. I have no complaint other than the fact the foot broke and the little tray thing, you know, that holds that in place is broke. But you know, again, after that many years of use, and as far as the function of it and what it's designed to do, it works flawlessly. To me, those things are minor. I did go online to try to find this particular stove and I could not find it. Uh, they have newer versions. Uh, this is a much newer stove, the first one I showed you. They do have newer versions, so I'll put a link to the one closest to this I can find if you're interested. But I could not find this particular one. I don't know if it's discontinued or I just couldn't find it, what the, what the case may be. But I, I highly recommend it. I really, I can't complain. Again, I try to do true reviews. And like I said, if you buy something brand new and you do an unboxing video and a first impression review that's one thing and there's nothing wrong with those because I do them too this thing here has been used by me my family my wife my kids and it works great the grate is still in good shape the burner is still in good shape over here yes it's got the burn marks from being used over the years so I give it two thumbs up I really do they're not super expensive so if you are in the market for a camp stove I have no problems recommending a Coleman stove that's a true review of what I honestly think about it. I'm glad you stuck around this long. If you're interested in the free ebook and pre trip checklist, make sure you click on the link down in the description. It's going to help make sure you and your rig are ready to hit the road, as well as swing over to our website, twocampingguru.com. And we do have a Facebook page. If you want to send us a message, you can swing over there too. Uh, either way, but if you go over to the website, everything's right there. As always, have a great day and happy camping. We'll see you in the next video.